Hello, welcome back to my channel. And in this tutorial, I am going to be uh, airbrushing a lilac breasted roller bird. And I think they're just so beautiful because there's so many different colors in, in these roller birds. And um, I just wanted to try to do one. Now this is uh, a photorealism, but not quite, I guess is how I would uh, um, describe it because down below in the branch area I've kind of changed what the fo what the picture looks like than what I actually am airbrushing but but for the most part um it's fo photorealism but uh, I'll let you just watch to see what I'm doing I'm using Cretex illustration colors on um synthetic paper and I'm using my Creos PS771 airbrush uh, to do this tutorial. And you see that I have taped around the bird and uh, normally I would use Frisket or the, well, the um, type of stencil paper that I, that I use, but I didn't have it. So I just used regular artist tape um, and then I have shown where I have uh, drawn the bird onto the paper. But normally when I go back in and airbrush, I try to erase those dark marks. So that's what you'll see me doing from time to time before I airbrush in an area, erasing that pencil line. Um, I did not show the airbrushing of the background color because that's just the light blue um, and I just uh, sprayed that over when I had taped off the bird. So um, it's just the sky. Let's see. And my, my airbrush paint is mixed kind of to a thin cons consistency. Um, and my pressure is lowered to around 20. And I'm noticing that this area in here where I had, um, drawn the bird's eye was very, very dark. And, um, I was, uh, thinking to myself, I shouldn't have put it on that dark because now it's going to be hard to get the white tone back in the eye where the eye is at. But here I'm just erasing some dark dark areas before I am airbrushing in here. And I'm using Cretex um, yellow. Just the regular detail yellow. And I added a couple drops of white in it to lighten it just a little bit. And as I'm looking at my picture, which if you wanted to do this bird, it's if you go on um, the community link on this channel, you will find a picture of the lilac breasted roller bird. I'm just kind of um, hitting some areas where I see some yellow tones and things in the bird. That these are really just basic colors detail yellow and then I will be using um, red violet and um, cobalt blue uh, and magenta lightened with a couple drops of white for one area and then straight for another area and those are really most of the colors, a little bit of black. Oh, yes, and some uh, sienna, burnt sienna for the branch there. And a little bit of uh, like a, um, uh, a uh, lightened out black. I <laughs> can't speak. <laughs> here I'm spraying in just some regular detail orange. Of course, I'll be darkening this up a little bit later on with the uh, sepia. But 
those are the mostly the main colors that I'll be using. I'm just going to let you guys watch and I'm just going to go um, do something else. But if always you want to contact me or leave a comment, feel free to do so below and uh, see what I will airbrush next. Uh, I know I've had some um, comments about doing more wildlife and then I had a comment about a guy wanted me to do the chrome look step by step again. So I may do that, maybe a different style of chrome, but uh, I will show. Uh, I know the videos on here, I don't like to do them too long, but um, I am going to, I think, do that again so that you guys can see how it's done. Hmm. Because I know it's a real popular, um, people are interested in knowing how to do the chrome look on, you know, vehicles and things, and you can do signage with it, and you can even actually airbrush your vinyl to do like a sticker if you didn't actually wanted to put it on your vehicle. Um, you could airbrush a, a vinyl and then and clear it and then uh, wait a day or two and then transfer tape down and then peel it off and stick it on your vehicle. <laughs> And I may show that step by step too. I was actually thinking about doing one for my window, my back window, so maybe I'll do that. I know most everybody nowadays has a little Cricut or a little desktop plotter would be the thing to do if you're gonna do some, um, or maybe you do signs, I don't know, but if you, don't do signs, but you want it for more uh, mural work, I would definitely invest in a tabletop plotter. It's well worth the money. It's 300 bucks, you could get a pretty good uh, system. Mine's just Vinyl Master, and to be honest, um, they're, you know, they were kind of considered the lower of the brand, but I have absolutely just love Vinyl Master. So that just goes to show you sometimes you don't have to really pay for the brand name stuff, you know. Sometimes. Not always. I still say Awada is top up there with the airbrush and so is Creos. Here I'm adding in some of that orange uh over in the yellow a little bit that I sprayed. And then, you know, later on I'll be coming in with some sienna and maybe a little bit of sepia in those areas. So, hey, I'm just going to quit talking and let you watch, see what I'm doing. You guys stay tuned and come back. I may put some music on for you. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, too.
rocking and rolling.
Thanks for watching the video, guys, and check back with me uh, later for the final piece. And um, then the next will be probably the chrome. So stay tuned. Little tricks and stuff here and there. I know in the final video I'll be t fixing some areas where I, I had sprayed it a little bit too far and the green went into the blue. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Check back.